Let's close caption. Blair, good to see you. Nice to see you, too, Welcome Kevin. to 06. I know, I'm back. It's good to have you here. Yeah. And uh, I'm told that comics are going to exist in this new year. Yes, uh, they're actually, they're coming out today because of a little delay because of the holidays. So we're sure. actually checking out a couple that we missed over the break that are completely worth uh, seeing. All right, well, let's do that. What do we have? Right. Uh, oh, wait. The first one, I was actually, this is the first time, admittedly, that I got really excited over a comic book. You were here, you were talking about it. Yes. Ultimate Wolverine versus Hulk. Right, because it comes to us from one of the co-creators of Lost. Of Lost, yes. Lindelof. So uh, this, is, this is huge. I mean, uh, the Hulk and Wolverine go back. A lot of people that aren't like big comic nerds don't realize Wolverine's first appearance was in uh, The Incredible Hulk 180 and 181. So uh, they have a history. And it's really great because um, one of the things I love about Marvel's Ultimate line, and I've said this before, it's like the HBO version of Marvel's superheroes. Right. And the thing that they acknowledge is that Wolverine and the Hulk have always been the rage-driven heroes, almost anti-heroes at times sure. in the Marvel universe. And Hulk is apparently quite the ladies' man. Right. And <laughs> the women, women lagging a little large and green sometimes. Exactly. And this is one of the things I love about this series. It acknowledges that the Hulk is, it's not just rage that he takes to an extreme. He's a sure. horny bastard. I yes, don't know if is. I can say that. Yeah, but you just did. I so. did. I did. Um, I really like this title. Uh, it's worth it just for the second page. Yeah, which we didn't show and I'm glad we didn't. At first right. I was waiting to see it. I'm not going to spoil yeah. it too much. But uh, it is worth it for that second For every day. comics fan that's been like, now why didn't a villain do that to Wolverine all yeah. these years ago? Uh, you've got your answer. So. Exactly. So, Talks okay, it's, is this a buy, a browse, or a burn? What are we doing with this I one? say buy. It's, uh, it's, I think it's a great comic. It's great for uh, the Lost fans, and uh, it's, just, it's worth it for the ridiculous violence. Yes, which, we, which we appreciate. And it sets up the story, too, at some point. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right, moving on to Ultimate Fantastic Four, right. which uh, you apparently said ignore the uh, speech bubbles entirely right. and, and soak this one up for all the ink loving. Right, right. Um, it's, it's basically, it's by Mark Millar and Greg Land. Mark Millar's right. Writing it. I, I like him. He's a great writer. I he's like fantastic. What's going on there? But I do not like the Fantastic Four. This is something about me. To me, of all the Marvel heroes, they've just been kind of meh. Right. Greg Land's art is incredible. Look at that. I mean, that's gorgeous. This guy does photorealistic stuff. I've, I've just, it's beautiful. A lot of people, he has a lot of critics, people who say, it's too photorealistic, or all the women that he draws kind of look similar. Right. I don't care. I think this is beautiful. It's, it's the kind of com it's so rare for me. I'm like very author oriented to open a comic and go, I want this for the art. For the art alone. And it brings back, it's, it, I will say in, in Millar's, uh, to credit to him, he brings back the Submariner as a villain. Right. And he is, he is a sexy Submariner. He is, and he's defeated by that whore Susan. He sure is. Not the best yeah. way to go down, really. It's I not know. in a flaming ball of glory. That's it's not from machine Susan guns. Storm. It's because there's a woman that's a giant slut. There is. Well, she's an invisible slut, so, you know. Fair enough. As yeah. long as you can't see and the she's cold actually, source. She's actually, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she has to cheat on Reed to uh, win. But uh, Is this a buy, a browse, or a burn, though? Because for the artwork alone, does that save it? The artwork alone, for me, saves it. I say wow. buy it, and also buy it for that, as the, as the Bostonians would say, the wicked hot Submariner. Wicked hot he's, Submariner. He's looking like you a supermodel. You could frame model. each page. He has a faux hawk. Finally, uh, well, you can't go wrong with that, clearly. The women flock. The ladies uh, like All-star Batman and Robin. Yes. Uh, didn't even bother opening it up myself. All Did right. you go through the, the time and trouble of actually let me, reading this? Let me tell crap? you why every comics nerd out there bought this. Jim Lee... Frank Miller. We're talking about Frank Miller, the guy who yeah. made Batman cool again with The Dark yeah. Knight Returns. Jim Lee, whose art is really renowned. Superstar in the art world. Superstar. Together, it's a marriage made in hell. Yes, it is. This is, to me, this is the biggest disappointment of the <laughs> year. It's shocking. It's DC trying to do what Marvel's doing with the Ultimate line. Batman's got 5 o'clock shadow. Come yeah. on. They it's, added you know something. What? 5 o'clock shadow is enough. This is so depressing. The dialogue, I mean, Frank Miller's incredible. I love the man. This is not good. Wow. It's the the, the, the I, I, I'm stuttering because I'm so passionate about this. But You should break something. Do we have anything that, that Blair can break? I can shred the paper. Yes. Um, you know... It, it's, the art is completely, it's, it's really cartoony, and it doesn't fit with this noir. It's like noir taken to the 10th degree dialogue. And to me, this is a huge disappointment, whereas All-Star Superman, for me, is, is a home run. So. so buy is out the window. I've established that yeah. from the anger that is yes. permeating from you. Uh, browse or burn? What are we doing with this bad boy? Not to go all Fahrenheit on you, but burn. Oh! Burn. Yes. Send it ablaze, my friends. Destroy literature. All-Star, Batman, and Robin. Not so amazing. It makes one tear roll down my face like a Native American Aww. looking at garbage. That's a sad, sad Indian it looking is. at the trash. Blair, thank you so much for coming Take on. Care. We'll Thanks. get to the new comics next week. Yes. As usual, be sure to check out our show notes for more on these comics.